I know a lot of you uh, were heartbroken, you know, and a lot of you were a bit upset. And some of you even thought that Robbie Lawler threw the fight. Some people were telling me, oh, I think he threw the fight, okay? Number one, okay, there's no way Robbie Lawler threw that fight, okay? Let's put that aside right away, okay? Those are real punches. I'll tell you something, okay? Those are real punches. That's a real fight, 100% real. Uh, both men were doing their best to win. Um, the f people who are saying it was fixed, it's, that's total, total nonsense. Okay, Robbie Lawler was there to win that night. I personally don't think there's enough money in the world for Robbie Lawler to throw a fight. Okay, I personally... Kobe comes off as the bad guy. He comes off as the, you know, an antagonizing bad guy and he really hits below the belt. Like for those of you, I'm sure you've heard of his comments after the fight, you know, he, he took a jab at Matt Hughes, you know, we've all heard that Matt Hughes, of course, survived a train accident. He got hit by a train. He was in the car when he got hit by a train and it nearly killed him. He was in a coma. He was in very bad shape. And now, thankfully, he's back out uh, and about and he's recovering. And uh, I've, I've talked to him personally after his um, accident and I asked him just how he was doing. And he told me he's doing good and he's back on track. Um, I can't tell you the extent of, of what, what he's living with now, but it's not great. You know, he's not a hundred percent back you know he has a limp you know, he's he's walking as best he can and he's probably going to be suffering from pain for the rest of his days now kobe after the fight was like hey robbie you should have learned the lesson from your good pal matt hughes whether it's a trump train or a kobe train get out the way now in my opinion that was just really <laughs> really below the belt really below the belt like just not funny and i know a lot of people are going to say He's just playing a role. That's not who he is. And I believe that wholeheartedly. I believe that wholeheartedly. That's just a role he's playing. I bet you, I would bet anything that Kobe's a nice kid. Nice guy, sweet guy. Um, he does strike me as a guy with a chip on his shoulder still. I don't know him personally, but... As you're going to tune in and pay big bucks to see him get a beating or give somebody a beating. Whether you like him or hate him, you want to tune in. Why? Because you, there's a chance he might get beat up. There's a chance he might eat his words. And if he wins that fight, he's going to make you <laughs> eat your words. You know, for all the pre-fight talk, all of you thinking, oh, he's going to lose. Finally, he's going to eat his words. Now he could turn around right back and shove it down your throat. This does sell tickets. And unfortunately, it does. And he's going to be very popular, very famous because of it. And I don't think that it came off really, um, I don't think that's really who he is. Why? Because I feel like when he was giving those lines, it was pretty rehearsed. I felt it was rehearsed. You know, I, I think that he didn't come up with that on the spot. I think he had thought of it. It seemed premeditated and it still gets a kick out of people. Me personally, it doesn't really do anything for me. I really want to focus more on the fight, but I know you guys are going to bring that up in, in, uh, in the comments right away. So I might as well address it. I think he's uh, just playing a role. He's obviously playing a role.